طيب uh, we will start now uh, first of all i would like to welcome everybody i'll talk in english since uh, many of the participants are uh, uh, cannot uh, speak uh, arabic uh, first of all i would like to welcome everybody in this uh, awareness session for a very um, trending uh, subject the local content and its impact and uh, what we will do with the local content and علم. and especially we selected our partners in the business the vendors to uh, share with them uh, uh, the concept of the local content and the approaches why it is important and also uh, why علم is adopting the local content um, First, uh, before that, uh, uh, just to introduce uh, myself, uh, my name is Ahmed al I am the uh, Director of Procurement and Contract in Al Company. I'm very glad uh, to have you here in this quick session to share with you uh, our uh, inputs and uh, uh, the future uh, guidelines of uh, the local content uh, uh, national wise or even within uh, uh, businesses. Um, uh, I'll leave the mic to my uh, colleagues to uh, introduce their uh, approaches and concepts and uh, we will be very glad to uh, hear from you uh, your uh, questions and comments and feedback. Thank you everybody. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Good morning, uh, all, and thank you for coming. Uh, this is Sagri, uh, Mohammed Al Sagri, Vendor Relations and Management Manager. Uh, thank you, Mr. Ahmed Al Blali, for the kind word and welcoming. Uh, before we start with the agenda, I would like to quote a sentence from the Local Content and Government Procurement uh, Authority (LCGPA's) uh, website which gives the goal of local content. Uh, quoted, uh, to develop all local content aspects for the benefits of the national economy. OK, starting with the agenda. Uh, the session will be as followed. I will be covering a brief of local content, uh, the four elements of local content. After that, my colleague, uh, Mr. Abdullah Al Gahtani, will be explaining uh, the way local content is measured, uh, how ILM will be implementing local content to its bids, and the improvement of our partners' local content score improves our uh, own score, how the improvement of our partners, our suppliers' score, will improve ILM's uh, local content score. After that, we will be moving to uh, our uh, part, our partners, uh, BDO, Mr. Um, Dr. Al Amri, Dr. Mohammed Al Amri Company, uh, who are authorized auditor by uh, LCGPA. Uh, they will be explaining the process of obtaining an official local content score certificate. How will uh, a company be able to obtain an official? Uh, local content score certificate. Also, they will be providing a special offer for ELMS partners. OK, also uh, at the end, we would like to uh, to have your messages uh, or your questions and concerns written in the chat so we would uh, answer them uh, at our best. We will try to uh, answer all the questions that are written in the chat. So please, when you have any question or concern or comments, please share it in the chat. OK, local content. As per uh, LCGPA, local content is the total spend in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia on Saudi components with labor, goods, services, assets and technology. Why is it important? Why local content is important? It helps to increase SMEs uh, and private sector's contribution to our uh, country's GDP. 
local content also help decrease the unemployment rate uh, in our country. It increased uh, export contribution to non-oil GDP. It also uh, increased localization in oil and gas sector. The mission as or the vision, sorry, as per the local content uh, government procurement authority, it says nurturing, which is developing local potential and capitalizing the national purchase power for a strong and sustainable economy. So this is the main reason or the vision of the uh, local content. Moving on with the local content elements. There are four uh, main elements. If we look at the elements of local content and how they are measured. We look at four elements. First of all, which is the goods and services. The goods and services are local components used in, produ in producing goods and services. In other words, the total spent on goods and services retained within the kingdom uh, economy. Capital assets, the second component, which is the total spend on local content and assets retained in the kingdom economy, measured uh, using depreciation. After that is the workforce, which are the labor and local spend on local uh, on labor compensation. Uh, it has its own way of measurement. It will be mentioned uh, later on with my colleague, Mr. Abdullah Al Ghattani. After that, the last and the fourth uh, element or component, it is the cap uh, the cap uh, the capacity building. The spend, which is the spend on research and development and capacity building of Saudi workers training, development of Saudi companies, Saudi suppliers, all that will be included under the, cap uh, the capacity building. Next will be uh, how to measure the local content. On this slide, will my colleague Mr. Abdullah will take over, starting to explain uh, the way local content uh, will be measured. Mr. Abdullah. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, thank you, Sagri. Uh, thank you all uh, for your attendance. Uh, uh, as you know, uh, maybe you have heard about this terms, uh, local content, and uh, my colleague Abu Hind uh, has uh, briefed you about the importance, how it becomes. Now, uh, the enforcement of the local content uh, uh, it started uh, last two years uh, uh, pushing uh, in the uh, first years uh, of the supplier for the uh, uh, governmental entities. Now, uh, uh, the enforcement in order to alleviate the uh, local content uh, contribution uh, to the whole uh, nation, uh, uh, the, uh, the needs uh, becomes uh, necessary to push toward the uh, second tier suppliers. Now, in order for you to understand uh, how the local content, and some of you might aware already, uh, how it's measured, uh, at the end, uh, your local content uh, will be measured in uh, a simple uh, score percent. So what is the formula that the uh, authority uh, has put uh, to measure and to give you the score? So uh, the component as a brief in the previous slide is the goods and services, which is uh, uh, majorly or uh, in most uh, is the procurement, uh, how much we spend on our suppliers, uh, KSA spent. Uh, the other component is the uh, capital uh, and asset, uh, which is what measured by the uh, the uh, yearly depreciation uh, of your assets uh, and capitals in, in KSA. Third component is the workforce or the KSA labor. Uh, the uh, Saudi uh, employ uh, employees or workforce, uh, any uh, 
payment to them, uh, including uh, salaries, uh, allowances, uh, bonuses, uh, will be uh, uh, calculated a full in full 100%, and only 37% will be calculated uh, for uh, expats. And uh, last but not least is the capacity building, which is uh, how much you spend on the training uh, of uh, your Saudi employees. Only Saudis uh, will be uh, uh, counted. Uh, also, uh, your the supplier development uh, that you make uh, to your suppliers. And finally, uh, how much you spend on your uh, research and development unit. All of those components, uh, uh, they will calculate it uh, or will be measured if it's in Saudis, uh, divided by the total spend in all of those components. Now, uh, this is how it's measured, uh, uh, or uh, this is the formula on the KSA, and uh, this is how you're going to get your LC uh, percent. Now, uh, based on this, uh, as uh, all you aware and uh, clearly that uh, your score, how much is it, will have uh, an impact on ELM score, meaning uh, that uh, if uh, your LC, your total LC is 60% uh, and uh, the, the spend that uh, uh, and the contract that we have between us uh, is, let's say, uh, 100 million, uh, over uh, a calendar, uh, a financial uh, fiscal year. Uh, if your LC is a 60%, then we will, uh, the, the LC that is uh, considered as an adding value by the authority is only uh, 600,000 out of this 1 million. Uh, and uh, this goes on with uh, very low LC suppliers that they have only 20%, for example, only 20% of our spend toward uh, toward you or our contractual uh, amount will be considered only 20%. And uh, this goes whether the percent is high or low. Uh, if the supplier is non-Saudi, then uh, no matter is the spend toward the supplier, it will be considered as a zero. Clearly, the uh, uh, your LC uh, is very important uh, toward our LC, the, uh, the, the relation uh, is uh, interchangeable. Uh, uh, we have a direct uh, impact on each other. Based on this, uh, we have changed our uh, uh, RFP uh, uh, tendering methodology to be as shown on the uh, second part. No, no, go back to the previous slide, please. Based on this, uh, this is the new uh, process as shown in the arrow. So this is an example. Let's say there is an attender for RFP that six supplier, uh, suppliers were invited. Uh, so after the uh, quotation deadline or the, uh, the RFP deadline, uh, the supplier who participated, uh, they will go through the first uh, evaluation process and stage one, which is the technical evaluation. Our default setup now has been changed to be, uh, we will have a minimum uh, technical pass score, which is will be kept as internal and confidential. And uh, because it's, uh, 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 we, we believe granted that the, uh, our uh, partner will de uh, deliver their best and the minimum technical score uh, will be kept. And based on this minimum score, your technical evaluation will be done with a pass or fail. However, there is, it could be in some tendering that the technical evaluation, it will have also uh, a weight on this, but in very minimal. So based on this technical evaluation, let's say only four supplier has passed uh, this minimum score. The second stage is will be the uh, LC and the price evaluation in which the local content, your local content, will have a 15% evaluation of your score and 85% will be on your uh, and the commercial preference. Your LC 
plus your best price that are provided will come up to a 100 multiplying the weighted average and this is will give the best score to elaborate more go to the next slide please to elaborate more uh, we have some examples and the uh, evaluation table criteria uh, this is the simple formula as it shown now uh, uh, let's say uh, one offer, the first table as an example, let's say we have three bidders in which the first have uh, submitted uh, 106 million, the, uh, the supplier be uh, for with 100 and C with 120. And their LC, the current LC, which is the, the, the pays year of uh, uh, that you will be certified against, uh, was as follow, 50 for supplier A, 20 for supplier B, 80 for supplier C. Multi uh, applying our formula, you can see that supplier B has a scored the highest, okay, though they are the cheap, uh, they are the cheapest and they scored the highest. However, you can see that though there is a difference of around a 6 million between the supplier B and supplier A, Almost supplier supplier A uh, uh, was a very near uh, get the score of supplier B in terms of a difference of only 0.3 percent. Now, uh, for the second example, showing if your uh, your LC as a situation of a zero, okay. Now, uh, if you if you if your uh, LC is a zero, meaning a zero, that means you don't have a certificate from the authority because we cannot accept any supplier with uh, the certification is the only accepted uh, LC percent uh, from our side and even in the whole nation, all tenders. So same thing, same example. You see that supplier A has won uh, this tender with 87%. Uh, point 0.7. You can see that supplier C, though it is, uh, they submitted higher than supplier B with a 15 million, still they are the second uh, best offer applying the formula and the lowest is supplier B. What you want to deliver here that now the LC becomes uh, uh, a major factor. However, uh, NL uh, uh, in our tenders, it is different. It is 40% when we when we offer or we participate in governmental opportunities. It is a 40% in the LC. However, as a supporter from us, we we thought that we will uh, incur this heat of the difference of around 25%. Uh, 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 we will have it. However. Uh, uh, we can tell that the next year this 15 percent will increase however we didn't want to uh give you like the whole uh, burden from the first year so those who will uh, take the advantage and start to work on their lc and trying to get the certificate since it is a valid of around uh, 60 months uh, uh, will have the uh, the competitive advantage in all in our tender and most of the governmental also companies uh, uh, in the kingdom. Go to the next slide. By the way, if you have questions, you can use the chat and we will address it after uh, the, uh, the uh, slides. Now, clearly, as mentioned before, there is a, a, a high relationship between your LC score and the our LC score. Uh, it is uh, uh, this is how it's uh, uh, the, uh, your effect on us and our effect on you. So uh, the spend of the supplier and the supplier LC audited one that you got certificate is the now uh, uh, the measurement for you to to get the LC. Uh, uh, as of now, uh, on the appendix, uh, those suppliers that they don't have, and what we have done before that we were doing, uh, if, uh, most of you that we invited you, you see that we ask for you uh, to submit your LC uh, scorecard and Excel sheets because we were doing the calculation based on the sector score that were given by 
by the uh, by the authority itself. But now this conduct is not valid anymore. We need to improve and we need to increase. Uh, so uh, the multiplication of the sector score is not uh, is not a parameter anymore. Uh, you need to get the certificate itself. Next slide, please. Now I'll leave the floor to uh, uh, the uh, the auditor, uh, the authorized uh, auditor from the uh, the authority. Uh, they will brief you of the requirement and uh, some offer that they will give you. Uh, we come up with a deal with the Al, Al Amri to provide a very competitive prices for you guys in order to uh, uh, move with the uh, issuance of your LC certificate. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Asalaamu As Alaikum, uh, all of you. My name is Atif and I am from BDO Alamri and I'm leading the local content uh, certification services from my company. Uh, we are one of the uh, leading uh, audit firms uh, out of the total nine audit firms who are authorized by the LCGPA to conduct the local content audits and to provide some support services to the companies who want to participate in the local content process, validation process. Uh, first of all, I would like to put in front of you the overall uh, high, high, uh, high level overview of the whole process, how it starts until the end, I mean, uh, to get the certificate. You, for the, the process is started, uh, starting is that you have to contact one of, the uh, one of the nine audit firms. You have to select the auditor. Uh, for that and then we will uh, fill up the local, we will get the required information. The required information as explained by Mr. Sagri and Mr. Abdullah, um, there are four areas mainly, which is uh, the starting from the section three, which is called labor. Labor means the cost, salaries and benefits for all Saudis and non-Saudis, the cost and compensation uh, for those employees. Uh, then the second uh, most important area is the goods and services, which is briefly comprises of all the spent uh, use you incurred with any kind of direct suppliers or indirect suppliers, which means your uh, cost of materials, cost of services, cost of general and administrative expenses, cost of marketing expenses, and any other cost. Then the third area of uh, which is capacity building, uh, which contains three further um, categories of costs incurred by the company that is as explained already the training and development for Saudi employees any expenses incurred by the company in this respect further any expenses incurred by the company on the development of local suppliers and any expenses incurred by the company on research and development activities within the kingdom and then in the end the last category where we we will ask you to provide us the information is on the capital assets, which is the depreciation part. I mean, all the asset details, we will ask you uh, whether it is manufactured in kingdom or not. And then there is a criteria to calculate the score as per the template. We will, uh, so this is the information required for all these four areas. Uh, once we will start filling up the template, we will take you, we will hold your finger and we we'll hold your hand to guide you and will give you some insights on improvement of the score possibilities of improvement of score we will help you to how to fill this uh, template and we will guide you for on how to retrieve the information which is required as per the guidelines of local content and government to government authority there are certain audit procedures to be performed after we have all the information we will perform certain agreed upon audit procedures these agreed upon audit procedures are every every year they are released by the local content government procurement authority. Uh, once the process of audit is completed, we will uh, sign the audit report with after uh, due approval from the management of the company. We will get the signed representation letter from you and then we will uh, submit our signed report with along with that representation letter that is ultimately uh, going to be reviewed by LCGPA. Once your scorecard and uh, report is uh, uh, reviewed, in the review process normally, if LCGPA has some comments on review in the review process, they will come back to you and sometime come back to us uh, directly 
if they have any questions, comments, queries. So once we resolve that, quest those questions, we answer to those questions uh, sufficiently and appropriately, they are going to release the final certificate. So this is the brief of uh, overall process, uh, how to get the local content certificate and all the audit process involved in it. So uh, then, uh, I mean, in the end, I would like to say definitely uh, we will help you uh, uh, for all these all this procedure. If you have any issues, any questions, you can have in your uh, in the chat. We will answer you in, in, at the end of the session. And now I would like to invite Mr. Sherjil, who is leading our advisory function in the KSA with BDO Alamri, who will take you through the next slide. Mr. Sherjil. Okay, thank you very much, Atif, and thank you very much uh, to to Al Elm team for for organizing this. Uh, this is definitely highly required and very valuable initiative of uh, Al Elm team. So thank you very much again for uh, uh, bringing everyone uh, uh, everyone here and providing us an opportunity as well to uh, be part of it. Um, we, we have, as uh, Mr. Abdullah, Mr. Sagri and Atim mentioned, um, absolutely local content is going to be a big thing when it comes to uh, dealing with your with your customers because customers would be more and more uh, assigning um, transparent uh, weightage to to your local content compliance uh, so uh, we, we we discussed with our elm team and we thought maybe it's a good idea to come up with a package price uh, for you guys uh, so if you want to to get your certification done, uh, we can definitely at BDO, Dr. Mohammed Al Amri, we can definitely help you. And we have uh, tried to be very uh, reasonable in in putting this package together for pricing. Um, so basically, if you see the, on the slide, we have uh, we have divided the the the, the, the com divided companies in three tiers. Uh, tier one is uh, and it depends on number of suppliers and number of employees. If your suppliers are, uh, for example, up to 100 and you have up to 100, uh, sorry, up to 50 employees, then in that case, you will fall in tier one. If you are between 101 to 200 suppliers and, and up to 100 uh, employees, you will be falling in tier two. And if you uh, have over 200 employees and over one uh, over 200 suppliers and over 100 employees, then you will be falling in tier three. Uh, and you can see that we we are proposing some prices here, uh, which are exclusive of VAT, uh, 13,500 for tier one, 15,000 for tier two, tier three, and then there are uh, there's also a concept of consolidated activa at uh, uh, consolidated local content at the group level. Uh, if you are interested in getting your uh, and, and LCGP approves you to get consolidated level uh, local content score, then <clears throat> you can see there is a price of 23,000 uh, there. Uh, just before I, I complete this, uh, the, the, our philosophy behind coming up with these prices was to make sure that we are uh, become partner with you uh, in in your compliance uh, compliance needs, and as Atif mentioned, we, we 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 not only we will come on ground as an auditor, we will also be there to hold your hand to um, uh, to to help you um, complete your your uh, your local content scorecard, and also at the same time critically evaluating your reporting to see that if there are any ways you can optimize or you can increase your local content score. So um, it is not just uh, that we will come and do the audit. Um, th that's it for now from my side, and I'm open for any questions you might have. Mr. Abdullah. Sure, thank, thank you. you. Uh, thank you, and Amri. Uh, I just want to highlight one thing. Why we have showed you the, the last uh, slide, uh, there was uh, a collaboration uh, uh, and uh, we feel that uh, we uh, in Elm, we deal with you as a partners. 
So uh, for for your information, in order for you to get the certificate, there are around six to seven uh, authorized auditor. Uh, believe me, uh, the prices of that. Uh, and by the way, you don't have you don't need to go to Al Amri, but if you go somewhere else, you will find that the prices is a way cheaper. However, Al Amri uh, and us we have we have uh, uh, cooperated to give you uh, this uh, uh, prices uh, as a support from Al to you. However, there is no commitment. You can go and reach to any authorized auditor by the authority. This is this is most important. Since there are so many questions, uh, let's start with the, with the first question uh, uh, first. Uh, unless uh, Sagri, you have anything to add? Mm, thank you, Mr. Abdullah. Uh, the first question saying we are providing a manpower contract for expats and we have nitaqat and uh, it's about nitaqat. The uh, this LC local content score has nothing to do with nitaqat. Uh, the LC score measures the all adding value. So if you have a good nitaqat, this is will reflect good at the end on your uh, LC score. What we're trying to say that uh, the manpower that as a contractor are not included in your LC. Uh, what's included in the workforce is your employees. So uh, we assuming that if your nitaqat is good, this is one component of your LC that will have uh, an impact, of course, a positive impact in your LC. Uh, let's see the second question. Uh, how can we submit the certificate or where we can get it and reference and average how much would it cost? I think we have uh, answered this question. This is the prices as we shown by Amri. Uh, uh, deal that we uh, give to you. However, there is others uh, auditors that you can find on the uh, authority website. And how to, you can get the certificate? You can communicate with the uh, authorized auditor with Al Amri or uh, any other uh, certified uh, authorized auditor. Uh, next question by Mohammed Al Jauhari. As far as I know, there is okay. Uh, uh, Mr. Mohammed was answering the previous question. Uh, Okay, we already have a report from our auditor. However, uh, as Mr. they didn't give certificate themselves. Yes, as we said, uh, there is only a specific number of authorized auditors, uh, such as Al Amri, who can review your uh, your financial books, and based on this, they will give you the percent and your LC score. And based on this, the uh, authority will issue the certificate for you. Uh, okay, there is uh, one question, Mohammed. Uh, okay, was well, just answering. Uh, there is one question addressed to you, uh, Al Amri. Uh, uh, do you have office? Yes, they have an office in Dammam. We need the contact, please. Okay. For the, there is one question from Marad Sheikh, which is very uh, good question and valid. How long the certification will be valid? The uh, the certificate is valid for around 16 or 17 months. Uh, please, if someone from Al Amri can answer this. Uh, Mr. Abdullah, I have already answered them that uh, the certificate validity is 19 months. A 19 calendar months. Just they need to understand this. Yes. 19 calendar months. So uh, let, meaning an example, if you start working on it now and then a month time it will be issued, it will be issued for year 20, uh, year 2020 up to uh, end of. Uh, uh, so if, if, uh, if you can answer this, uh, Shahzad, if uh, 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 a, a, a certificate is granted the next month, uh, when it's going to be expired? Uh, let's say, for example, if they did their uh, LC audit for the year 2019, let's say December 31st, 2019, then the validity will be till July 2021. I hope this is answered the question. So because we are working now on certification for 2020, so it will be valid until July 2022. Am I right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, any exemptions for small and medium businesses or uh, consideration? Uh, 
C, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the LC uh, did not take in consideration uh, how much you spent. It is how, how you divide your spend. And maybe Al Amri can elaborate more on this. Well, uh, if uh, I put uh, one one question here, exemption from LC certification. Uh, if you are going to deal, uh, if you are going to deal with the uh, prospective business with Sabek, Saudi Electricity, or any other national company, Saudi Airlines, uh, Sadara Chemicals, Petrobras, so they actually uh, they require you to file the LC certification. You they they will ask you, they will urge you to go for the local content audit. So. Uh, as you as Mr. Abdullah said, there is nothing to do with the total number of employees you have or if, uh, if even if you are registered with Munchar, definitely if you, the, the condition is if you're going to deal uh, with the business opportunity with any of the national company, definitely the local content audit will be required for to do to comply with. OK, there is one question when this LC process will be applied in L. When it's going to be applied in Elm, it's, it's already started. Uh, uh, we started in this year the application. So uh, most of our uh, current RFPs, uh, this is the mandate. This is uh, uh, it's it's a requirement, and uh, uh, we expect that uh, uh, currently that uh, m maybe some of you uh, they already received an RFP and. If you read our RFP package, you will find that we have reflected this a new requirement and a new methodology. Uh, LCDA does not give a certificate. We already checked with them. So is this approved auditor report enough? Uh, the LCGPA does not give you the certificate unless you give uh, the feedback from the auditor was sent. And maybe Al Amri can elaborate more on that. Uh, yes, definitely. The auditor, the previously they were not going to, uh, to issue any specific certificate, but now they change the practice. After the your score, LC scorecard is approved by LCGPA, they will issue a certificate in the PDF. Then they are now going to issue. If any one of you has already uh, got your uh, emails, final approval email from LCGP, you can still request them to issue the certificate, and they are issuing that. Now, there is a question. Can you please list the criteria that usually issue the certificate on? As we mentioned before, there are four components. Those four components has a lot of details. As we said, goods and services, which is how much you spend on your supplier and your supplier as our conduct with you now, if they are Saudis or non-Saudis and how much their contribution to the uh, uh, to the local content, also uh, the workforce, capacity building, and uh, the uh, capital and assets. Those are the criteria, and there is a detail on that. But you don't have uh, the the auditor will support you on that once you bring them, and they will give you the full detailed criteria. Uh, the next question said, if an enhancement has been made on companies LC after receiving the certificate will be able to upgrade, will we be able to upgrade? Uh, the question is not clear enough. However, uh, from what I understood that you're asking that if my certificate, for example, this year was issued, let's say with a uh, 40% LC, and then we have did some progress to improve our LC, uh, and your next LC, uh, See, uh, uh, it is the idea of that to have a progression. Uh, it shouldn't be fast, but it's a progressive uh, movement. So the more you progress, the more opportunity you will have, uh, whether in Elm or any other uh, governmental companies in your tender. So yes, it will reflect uh, positively on you. Uh, the next question said, is the LC required for the distributor who don't deal with the customer directly? but work through system integrators. See, uh, uh, again, the question, whether you are a distributor, whether you are a small uh, company, whether uh, you are a conglomerate, uh, it doesn't uh, uh, read uh, to how much you spend rather than uh, the, the value of your spend rather than how much you spend and where you spend it. If you are a distributor, 
you have an employees, you have uh, suppliers, and you have all components. So the components itself might be different from one company to another. As we said, there is the goods and services, capital assets, there is the uh, workforce. And a, a company, for example, a distributor, we expect that the workforce will be the biggest part of your spend. And other, uh, and other company that they have, for example, a plant, we imagine that the, cap the capital assets will be the, the major component of, uh, of their uh, spend. So uh, the type of your supply uh, does not make any difference. The next question said, for example, there is governmental rules give some points for SMB's company to help the grow and complete the bigger in the bigger phase so my question if there is an exemption relaxed condition for smps at least more points for smps and SMP, okay now uh, uh, you have been uh, invited just to uh, answer this question you have been invited here uh, uh, you were uh, we have so many suppliers in l however the selection of you because uh, we feel that uh, uh, somehow, uh, 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 our deal with you is not a mere supplier rather than more of a partner, meaning that we have to trust you with a big spend. So uh, I don't see this uh, this uh, situation applies in, I can say, 95% of the attendees because most of you are big suppliers who, continue, who participate in our big RFPs and we, we spend a uh, 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 high amount of uh, we, you have a high amount of our contracts uh, in every year. So uh, 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 the SMPs uh, uh, they have a different methodology with ELM uh, and a different uh, situation. Uh, but most of the attendees does not apply on this situation. The next question we have very good point. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, I'm trying to find the question. What I mean that this is a customer system integrator and not actual end user. Faisal, Faisal al Khaf, Faisal al Kaf, Faisal al Kaf. Can you please send your your case uh, the description uh as an email to sagri or to uh, the uh, srm management and we will look at it in particular just for you to uh, to understand the situation uh Irfan, would you please share the recording of this session uh do you have any more question or uh this is all Please, can someone from Al Amri put your contacts, please, on this chat? So, uh, if any would like to contact you, and uh, uh, plus, again, uh, whether you would like to go with Al Amri or any other authorized auditor uh, by the authority, you can check and find them on the uh, on the website of uh, the uh, uh, author uh, the local content authority. Yes, we will we will include our contact and we will we will recirculate it, inshallah. So I agree, I'm like putting, the, putting the email details on the chat. I'm putting the email details for me and Mr. Sharjiri. We, we, uh, we also will share uh, the the information, the contact the contact information of uh, Al Amri uh, through email. Sure, sure. Okay. So if we don't have any more questions, we'll be uh, sharing that information with you guys, inshallah, with our suppliers, our partners. Uh, also, we will uh, receive any other comments or questions through the email. We'll try our best to reply to all emails with all questions. And uh, you are welcome to give your feedback, your comments uh, through email. Now, one, one, one last uh, message to Al Amri uh, uh, on behalf of Elm and uh, its suppliers. Uh, uh, Al Amri, uh, if anyone contacted you, we would like your support to finish their certificate.
advocate because this is affecting their business opportunities. So uh, we imagine that uh, you have been trusted for anyone that contacts you that you will finish their certificate ASAP and without any uh, any uh, delay, please. In, inshallah, sure. you have our assurance and uh, we, we are definitely here uh, to support you and your suppliers. Absolutely. 